All right, guys, we're back with Crash. Just, oh, oh, I put the collar on her. Now she's having a tantrum trying to get out here. So if you said what it seems to be some precursor for the launch sequence in this dog's mind, there's nothing I can do that's going to make it go away. I, it's just an observation I'm making. I see with other dogs, you seem to be able to act with indifference when putting the collar on and you can get them to not react. This dog... That doesn't seem to be the case. So, I'm going to do the dumbbells today. And if you said how many will she get, who knows? As many of it as I have. That's the crazy part. So, I'm going to start putting them on the little slide thing over there so she'll look. If she finds one there one time. Hi, Mike. Oh, yeah, Crash just had to get out. So, I said, okay, fine. Yeah, I've given up trying to do corrections. I think you see my plan of manipulation is much more effective. <laughs> correction thing. Yeah, I abandoned that last Tuesday. I just said, let's go with the flow. I can trick you. So I've got a whole basket of dumbbells and I can just honestly put them anywhere. I can have my cone. I do want to have my cone. And I, I know now I can just put it over this clump of grass. It's in the same place. my superstition. It can honestly just be anywhere. The basket too. Anywhere. And if I had to guess, she's going to bring that wagon over there too. If all efforts to get anything else fail, so go get that. All right, so here she comes. Hang on. So she's already looking for the platform, and it, it does, it's not always in the same place. So she does know the handler. She's looking for it. She's like, it's got to be here somewhere. All right, let me see if I can get her to do her new thing one time. Oh, never mind, she went on the hunt. And by retriever, I meant she retrieves things. Not she's a retriever, even though, who knows, if I got a DNA test, they'd probably say... She's definitely trying to deliver to the handler, though. I mean, you can see that. She's bringing it to me. And he said, what does she do all day? That, while I'm sitting there trying to just watch 30 minutes of Snapped. And she's bringing me, if you said, what does she bring? Anything. Piece of paper this big, a giant box from Amazon, anything. Anything. He said, do you pay? Most, most of the time, I do pay. Oh, how thoughtful. She brings me the basket. That always helps. You know, and if you said, how did you get that delivered? I don't know. I don't know. Now, if you said, what do you do? Oh, you just look the direction you want him to go. That's all. She's looking for the cone. She didn't find the cone. Just go big. Honestly, you could, if you really wanted to, I mean, you could juxtapose videos from the be beginning, middle, and end, and you're seeing the same behaviors. They've only got so many behaviors in their behavior bank. They run, they jump, they bark, they growl, they bite. You know, your job is augmenting or decreasing those with whatever capacity you have that's gonna be beneficial for the dog. You know, obviously not increase any aggressive behavior in any context. If you said we play tug, I don't recommend it. If you said, well, I'm a strong handler and all my clients are, well, then I guess it will probably be all right. But if you're a weak handler and your clients are in their 80s, you're not going to tell these, well, give it a vigorous tug. Come on. Come on out. Get out there and give it a vigorous tug. Well, how often do I have to? Every day, three, four, five times a day, do it. No, she just cannot get the back fast enough. 
like you said, there's absolutely nothing interesting about this. Nothing interesting about this case. This case is nothing but interesting. It's, it's return. If you see Mike, it's got, she's got the, the return is, it's the same as the recall. There's the, there's the kissing. There's the mind, no reaction. There's the goes away. And you said what most people do, they do laugh when they do it. And then the dog just augments the behavior. Next thing, this thing's all up in their face. Oh, crash. Molly, you are awful. Oh, look at her ripping the bag so awful. No, crash. Now I have to guard these. Oh, jeez. Oh, am awful, Molly. This is a bad sweatshirt or something. And she does understand the guarding. Yeah, that was really interesting, her thought process. She started to go back, but for what, Molly, oh, am awful. Look at her, look at her, can you even believe that? Oh, she's, she's just, she's been ruined. Somehow, someone's ruined her. Someone must come here and train her when I'm not here. It's the only explanation. The only possible explanation. All right, so there's one more up on that thing. And remember, that was last time she couldn't find it. But that's a lot bigger and I've heated up the whole area, supposedly. And I'm just going to steer directly at it. I mean, it's almost like I got her over there with the stare. But it's the same thing. Molly, oh, you're so awful. Uh, and if you said, well, because it's never looked at, I don't, I'm not sure why, but I'm going to keep looking. Remember, that was my send away before. I would just point my hands forward, but it was, you know, if you said it was more incidental, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. You know, if, you, if that doesn't make your hair stand up a little bit, Mike. This will be, this will be that, you know, when they edit it, this will be my. <sighs> and remember, she does also retrieve if she can feel it. <laughs> I'll be a Mimi one day, 300 years from now. <sighs> All right, but I think she needs to be down there. She retrieves. Uh, this is for the handicapped dog special Olympics. Now it was a single mark and now a blind retreat. She did it all without a hand signal. <laughs> yeah. There cannot, if you're a dog trainer, so I don't find anything interesting about this case. There's nothing not interesting about this case. Hi, Monique. Am I wrong? It's, there's nothing not interesting. The dog fetches. And you said that's commonplace. It is? All right, watch. She can definitely feel. Look, now she's tracking me, Mike. Now she's tracking me.
think that she smells where it bounces. She made it within the time limit. If she can get back to the platform, she'll get the first prize. Oh, she got all four feet on there. She wins. She wins. Yeah. She got first place in the Kelly uh, Dog Special Olympics. But look at her. She still keeps looking. She still keeps looking. And I think she can understand if more than one thing falls, too. Let me see. All right, I'll activate my pager. There's my pager. That acted as the recall. Got her back to the platform. If you said that didn't act as a recall, it didn't. It looked like a recall to me. Oh, hang on, Gersh. Oh, if I can get her to do her new behavior, Mike, when you see it, it's the cutest damn thing. Let me see if I can get her up here. Just get her to do it one time. If you said, how did you, she just did it on her own. And I was fast and rewarded it. No, gosh, not the blanket thing. This was after bringing me the blanket. Didn't work anymore. All right, hang on. Let's see if she'll do it. I let her know where I'm at. Give her something for not picking up the blanket. And then see if she'll do the behavior. Hang on. It might come after this. Hang on, watch her. She added it herself. If she doesn't do it, I'll have it by next week. Watch her thought process. She's thinking. She needs to know I'm still there. Oh, forget about that for now. I'm going to show you that by next week. It's really cute. And she made it up herself. All right, so there's the... Lucky Crash. All right, now I'm going to do two of them. You monkey crash, I'm right here, crash. All right, so now she has to remember. Well, there you go. What else does crash have to do? Crash is my little champion. All right, there's my pager. Whoops. <laughs> she does understand. And I think if you said, I want to do the best job training a blind dog, my advice is... Clearly based on this dog, a return to the platform, and then there's the default down. Hi, Michael. I don't know if you remember. I don't think you haven't known me that long, but yeah, I got crashed and she was a little puppy. She was on her way to get put to sleep. Kelly didn't take her. And I never dreamed that that's why this dog came into my life. I, I've never seen anything the same since this dog. Because if you said, well, scientists want to do a study of the dog, okay, because everything I've ever done with it almost is on video. So they'd be able to figure out, because if you said, how did it, it's, it's very hard to understand. It's just a stripped down dog. It's just a stripped down dog. There's my pager. Right to the platform. And I don't touch her other than just, I make it seem like it's incidental that I was just there. All right, you gotta do your healing one time, Crash. I gotta get my hand right on her nose. Look at your legs, Cash, your legs, Cash. Cash, your legs, your legs, Cash, your legs. <laughs> your legs, your legs, your legs, Cash. Oh, my crashy crash. Anyway, you guys. I'm sure you can see what a special dog it is. It's level of consciousness i feel and i'm not gonna i don't want to sound all my friends are oh let's go to talladega and get the palm red and all the psychics and all this but if you said there's no connection with this handler and this dog i'd say i've, I've never felt more connected to a dog in my life i don't even know how to describe it it's a totally stripped down dog and it's going to force you to realize that while body english and words hold a lot of importance in dog training clearly it's not everything <laughs> clearly we're gonna have to face the fact <laughs> yikes all right if you said unless she's looking for something if you said do the recall 
Ash has got a perfect recall. She is a re better recall than most dogs that can see and hear. Michael, for your um, little mastiff, or I think he's a puppy, I would get the dog to 280C. That thing is built like a Panzer, and that's what I use on that Angus. So it works on bulldogs. It's got the stronger pager. You've got to do, you know, the only thing people have to do is intro it right. If someone just gave me a cell phone and I didn't know it was anybody communicating with me and it was just an annoying thing that vibrated, I might not like it either. So people do understand. I have to understand. You know, I've got a certain things going on. This is this dog's default behavior, though. Anyway, you guys, let me try to see what else i got on this training list, but... Yeah, that 280C, it's got the small box, it's got the strong pager, it's got, it goes up to 127. You know, but for people that you're just starting out, you're just, just using it on zero. That's why I can't understand the whole clicker crowd that I did never said, why are the clicker people buying these collars? Oh, they figured out you could just turn it to zero. Wow, they're smarter than I thought. No, that hadn't happened. That I know of, that hasn't happened. I wish that, I wish that. Why are clicker people trainer buying these collars? No, no, they're busy out there saying, I can train a dog without it. I can train a deaf dog. A deaf dog with a clicker? Stop it. And what about Crash Crash with the clicker too? Okay. All right, you guys hang on, I'll be right back.